Hi again, YouTubers. So, after um, spending another night of sin, of committing sins, of, you know, sexual immorality by jerking off to some proporno, I, I pretty much, you know, decided to film another Bible reading set session just to encourage myself and to encourage those who have also been um, struggling with sins, with repentance, with the, all those sorts of things. So per perhaps reading the Bible does help a bit. Well, well, to say the least, it helps my, it helps um, with improving the command of my English la language, you know. And in turn, it helps, it helps, you know, it helps overcome um, stuttering, you know. Maybe you have to have managed to take in notice of a. Uh, pattern of uh, you know um, maybe um, more or less fluctuations or oscillations you know when I stutter or or you know um, w with the pattern of the flows of my speech but in any but in any in, in any in any event I would like to read um, I Isaiah Isaiah chapter 6 and chapter 7 for this Bible reading session and in, in case I have more energy I, I will. Con I might continue reading the, you know, reading the book of the book of Revelation as well. So, without further ado, let us be begin with reading the book of Isaiah, chapter six, King James version, of course. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above it stood the sir, uh, the seraphims, the seraphims. Each one had six wings, with twine he covered his face, and with, 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 with twine he covered his feet, and with twine he did fly. And one cried unto another, and said, Holy, 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 is the Lord of hosts, is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried, and the house was filled with. And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the posts of the door moved at the voice of him that cried, and the house was, and the house was filled with his with smoke. Then I then said I, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the Sir <laughs> the Seraphims unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with it with the tongs of, of from off the altar, and he laid it upon my mouth, and said, Lo, this hath touched my, thy lips, and thine iniquity is taken away, and thine sin purged. And I hear and I heard the voice of the Lord, saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then said I, Here I am. Send me, and he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert and be healed. Then, I, then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered, Until the cities be wasted without inhabitant, and the houses without man, and the land be utterly desolate, and the Lord have removed men far away, and there be a great forsaking in the midst of the land, but yet in, in, in it shall be a, t a tenth, and it shall return, and shall be eaten, as a tail tree, and as an oak, whose substance is in them, when they cast their leaves, so that when they cast their leaves, 
when they cast their leaves, so the holy seed shall be the substance thereof. Chapter 7 And it came to pass in the days of Ahaz, the son of Jothan, the son of Uz uh, Uzziah, the king of Judah, that, that Rezim, the king of Syria, and Pekah, the son of uh, the son of Renalia, the king of Israel, went up toward Jerusalem to war to war against it, but could not prevail against it. And it was told the house of David, saying, Syria is confederate with 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 Ephraim and Ephraim, and his heart was moved, and the heart of his people, as the trees of the wood, are moved with the wind. Then said the Lord unto Isaiah, Go forth now to meet Ahaz, thou and Shearjashub, my son, at the end of the conduit of the upper pool in the highway of the fuller's field, and said unto him, Take heed, and be quiet, fear not, neither be fainted-hearted, or for two tales of those smoking firebrands. For the fierce anger of Razan with Syria, and of the son of, Ren <coughs> of Remaliah, because Syria, Ephraim, and the son of Remaniah have taken evil counsel against thee, saying, Let us go up against Judah, and vex it, and let us make a breach therein for us, and set a king in the midst of it, even the son of Tabal, even the son of Tabal. Thus saith the Lord God, it shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. For the head of Syria is Damascus, and the head of Damascus is Rezim, and within threescore and five years shall Ephraim be broken, that it not that it be not a people. And the head of Ephraim is is Samaria, and the head of Samaria is Ren, um, is Remaliah, Remaliah's son. If ye will not believe, surely ye shall be. Surely ye shall not be established. Moreover, the Lord spake again unto Ahaz, saying, Ask thee a sign the Lord thy God, ask either in the depth or in the height above. But Ahaz said, I will not ask, neither will I tempt the Lord. And he said, Hear ye now, O house of David, or house of David, is it a small thing for you to weary men? But will ye weary my God also? Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Butter and honey shall he eat, that he may know to refuse the evil and choose the good. For before the child shall know to refuse the evil and choose the good, the land that thou Abhorrest shall be forsaken of both her kings. The Lord shall bring upon thee, and the end upon thy people, and upon thy father's house. Days that have not come from the day that Ephraim departed from Judah, even the king of Azariah. <coughs> Esther. Has a right, yeah, sorry about my mispronunciations. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall, hit, shall his for his for the fly that is in the uttermost part of the rivers of Egypt, and for the bee that is in the land of Azariah. Azariah. And they shall come and shall rest all of them in the desolate valleys and in the holes of the rocks, and upon all thrones, and upon all bushes. In the same day shall the Lord shave with a razor that is hired, namely, by them beyond the river, by the king of Azariah, the head and the hair of the feet. And it shall also consume the, the beard, and it shall come, come to pass, it shall come to pass in that day that a man shall nourish a young cow and two sheep, 
and it shall come to pass for the abundance of milk that they shall give he shall eat butter for butter and honey shall everyone eat that is left in the land and it shall come to pass in that day that every place shall be where there were a thousand wines and a thousand silverlings it shall even be for bearers and thorns with arrows and with bow with bows shall men come thither because all the land shall become barriers and thrones, and on all hills that shall be digged with the mat talk, there shall not come thy thither the fears of barriers and thrones, but it shall be for the sending forth of oxen and for the trending of lesser cattle. Oh man, this is so hard. King James Version is so hard. <laughs> Maybe I should turn to the book of Revelation instead, should I? Maybe I should read James or the epistle, the letter of James or... Um, yeah, let's read the letter of James. Chapter 1. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, which are, which are scattered abroad, which are scattered abroad. Greeting, my brethren, count, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience, but let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If anyone, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Let the brother of low degree rejoice in that he is exalted, but the rich in that he is made low, because as the flower of the grass he shall pass away. For the sun is no sooner risen with the burning heat, but it withereth the grass and the flower thereof, Falleth, and the grace of the fashion of it perisheth, so also shall the rich man fade away in his ways. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for he, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempt, tempteth he any man, but every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth it bringeth it bringeth forth death, and sin, when it it is finished, bringeth forth death. But when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it, it is finished, bringeth forth death. Do not err, do not err my beloved brethren every good gift and every perfect gift every perfect gift is from above and count down from the father of the lights from the father of lights with whom is no variableness with whom is no variableness neither shadow of turning for of his own will begat he us with the word of truth with word of truth that we should be kind be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteous of God. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your souls. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, 
is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself, and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. But whoso looketh, looketh into the perfect law of liberty, and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. If any man among you seem to be religious, and bridled, and bridled not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart, this man's religion is vain. Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and the widows in their affliction, and to keep himself unspotted from the world. My brethren, my brethren, yeah, chapter 2, my brethren, have not the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory, with the respect of persons. For if there come unto your assembly a man with a gold ring, in goodly apparel, and there come in also a poor man in vile raiment, and ye have respect to him that weareth the gay clothing, and say unto him, Sit thou here in a good place, and say to the poor, Stand thou there, or sit here under my footstool. Are ye not the, them partial in yourselves, and are become judges of evil thoughts? Hearken, my beloved brethren, hath not God chosen the poor of this world rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom which hath promised to them that love him? But ye have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you, and draw you before the judgment seats. Do not they blaspheme that worthy name by the which ye are called. If ye fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, ye do well. But if ye, but if ye have respect to persons, ye commit sin, and are conceived of the law as transgressors. For whosoever shall keep the whole law, and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. For he that said, Do not commit adultery, said also, Do not kill. Not if thou commit no adultery, yet if thou kill, thou art become a transgressor of the law. So speak ye, and do so, as they shall be judged by the law of liberty. For he shall have judgment without, without mercy, that hath showed no mercy. And mercy rejoiceth, rejoiceth against judgment. What doeth it profit? My brethren, though a man say he hath faith and have not works, can faith save him? If a brother or a sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled, Notwithstanding ye give them not those things which are needful to the body, what doeth it profit? Even so faith, if hath no, not works, is dead, being alone. Ye, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show, I will show thee my faith by my works. Thou believest that there is one God, thou dost well. The devils also believe and tremble. But wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith without work, works is dead? Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he had offered Isaac his son upon the altar? Seest thou how faith wrought with his works? And by works was, was faith made perfect. And the scripture was fulfilled with, with which saith, Abraham believed God, and it was imputed into him for righteousness, and he was called the friend of God. Ye see then how thy by works a man is justified, and not by faith only. Likewise also was not Rahab the harlot justified by works, when, he, when she had received the messengers, and had sent them, and had sent them out another way. For as the body without spirit is dead, so faith without work is so faith without works is dead also. This surely is a strenuous piece of hard work just to read the Bible. You know? 
So does, does salvation take work to be perfect? Um, maybe not necessarily, but do, but do you need perfect work to get saved? Maybe not necessarily, but do you need to do works in order to thrive? Yes. Do you need to do you need to do hard works in order to get your reward? Yes. So yeah, we do need the reward because without me reading a Bible, without me filming this bit, how can I get the views? How can I get the subscribers? And in turn, how can I get Patreons supporting my endeavors and living? So yeah, it all begins to make sense, even by reading the Bible, not necessarily, you know, learning the wisdom and um, you know trying to study its underlying principles and whatnot anyway guys thanks again for watching and listening i i might need some time to to edit all these bits you know because I, I have some some more some 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 other work some other works i need prioritizing so anyway guys thanks again for watching and listening you have a great day or a great night take care bye bye Stay tuned.